The position of college football defensive coordinator is one of the most important roles in a coaching staff. But before we begin the highlight of Coach Prime's defensive coordinator let's answer a couple of questions. What is a defensive coordinator? And how important are they? The defensive coordinator is responsible for the design and execution of the team's defense. They work closely with the head coach to develop a game plan and determine the strategy for the upcoming game. This includes analyzing film of the opposing team's offense and identifying weaknesses that can be exploited. The defensive coordinator must also make in-game adjustments as necessary. If the opposing team is finding success with a particular play or formation, the defensive coordinator must make changes to counteract it. They must be able to make quick decisions and communicate them effectively to the players on the field. Additionally, the defensive coordinator is responsible for the development of the defensive players. They must identify areas where players need improvement and work with them to develop their skills. This includes both individual technique and overall team strategy. The defensive coordinator is essential to the success of a college football team. A good defense can win games and a great defense can win championships. The defensive coordinator is responsible for creating a unit that can stop the opposing team's offense and give their own team a chance to score. With these things in mind, let's look at who Coach Prime recruited as his defensive coordinator. Coach Prime went for one of the best. Coach Charles Kelly who at the time was under Coach Nick Saban in Alabama. Coach Kelly decided to roll from the tide and join Coach Prime in Boulder. Kelly served as the associate defensive coordinator and safeties coach at Alabama from 2019 through the Crimson Tide's 2022 campaign, which concluded with a win over Kansas State in the Sugar Bowl. What makes this such a major move on the part of Coach Prime is that Coach Kelly is ranked the nation's number one coach in terms of recruiting. Yes, Coach Prime recruited the top recruiter in college football. Just think about that for a minute. This is on top of getting one of the most experienced and respected defensive coordinators in the Power Five. Coach Kelly comes to Boulder as Colorado's new defensive coordinator and safeties coach with two national championships on his resume at Florida State in 2013 and at Alabama in 2020. During his 33-year coaching career, he has called defenses at every level, from high school to FCS to Power 5. Before his time at Alabama, Kelly served as the special teams coordinator and safeties coach at Tennessee in 28. He coached at Florida State, Sanders' alma mater, for five seasons from 2013 to 17, serving as the defensive coordinator for four of those years. While in Tallahassee, Kelly worked with New Buffs tight ends coach Tim Brewster. During the Seminoles' national championship run in 2013, Kelly's defense ranked first in the country in scoring defense, allowing just 12.1 points per game. Throughout his career, Kelly has earned a reputation as one of the most innovative and successful defensive coaches in the game. Coach Kelly's coaching journey began at his alma mater, Georgia Tech, where he served as a graduate assistant for three years before being promoted to full-time assistant coach in 1994. From there, he worked at several other programs, including the University of Akron, Louisiana Monroe, and Florida State University. Coach Kelly's tenure at Florida State University was particularly noteworthy. During his time as defensive coordinator, he led the Seminoles to a national championship in 2013 and helped produce one of the most dominant defenses in the country. Kelly's defensive unit was known for its aggressive and physical style of play, which made it one of the most feared units in college football. As previously mentioned, in addition to his success at Florida State, Coach Kelly has also had success at other programs, including his stint at Tennessee as the special teams coordinator and outside linebackers coach during his time at Tennessee. He helped the Volunteers achieve two bowl game victories and was instrumental in the development of several NFL-caliber players. Coach Kelly's success can be attributed to his ability to adapt his coaching style to fit the strengths of his players. He is known for being a master motivator, and he has a talent for getting the most out of his players. Additionally, he is highly respected for his ability to develop young talent and his willingness to take risks and innovate on the defensive side of the ball. Kelly has used a mix of 4-2-5 and 4-3 alignments over the years, leaning more heavily on the 4-2-5 due to the prevalence of spread offenses in college football. But, he has also shown some creativity in how he lines up his personnel. For instance, Kelly's most frequently used sub-package at Florida State, the 3-1-7 formation, proved to be especially devastating to opposing offenses. Coach Kelly has proven to be a master at making use of versatile hybrid athletes. He is able to move around players to get the most out of each player's strengths. His ability to mix it up on defense and disguise his schemes is second to none. And Coach Prime has went out of his way to get some of the best weapons for Coach Kelly on defense. Coach Prime has recruited the number one high school cornerback in the nation back-to-back. -back. He has gotten multiple season transfers from Power 5 schools, 
These transfers will provide immediate help on the defense. They have acquired defensive backs, edge rushers, hard-hitting linebackers and safeties. Colorado has stacked the deck by recruiting some monsters on defense for Kelly to work with. Overall, Coach Charles Kelly is a highly respected and accomplished coach in the college football world. His record of success speaks for itself, and his ability to inspire and develop young players is unmatched. He continues to make his mark in the game both as an elite recruiter and dynamic defensive coordinator. With that folks, I want to thank you for watching and subscribing. Have a blessed day.